Praise the living God. Praise the living God. Beloved, you are most welcome to God's own elect word and prayer meeting. Uh, to the hour of obtaining the new message of the Lord. We are here as elect of God to study the scriptures and also pray. And also proceed and ask the Lord to satisfy us with his new mercy and compassion. According to the book of Lamentation chapter 3 verse 22 to 23. Which says through the Lord's mercy we are not consumed because his compassions fail not. They are new every morning. And it is very crucial that every child of God should come to the Lord every morning to obtain this new mercy. The Lord Jesus Christ once told them, said, Pharisees, you are in error because you don't know the scriptures or the power of God. And if you are a child of God and you are in error because of that, that means you are, you are, you are, you are, you are your life is in danger. Because not knowing the scripture is something else. And then not knowing the power of God is also something else. So I encourage you, come let all to come together, study the scriptures, and also pray, hallelujah, to, 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 to know the power of God. Amen and amen. God bless you. Today we are talking about sound doctrine. We are talking about sound doctrine. And during the sound doctrine, we are taking our scripture from the book of Second Timothy, verse chapter four. Sorry, chapter four, verse one to three. Verse one to three. Praise the Lord. I'm say, uh, I'm reading. I charge you, therefore, before God. And the Lord Jesus Christ. I charge you therefore before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who will judge the living and the dead at his appearing. Now, so this gave us the clear understanding that the Lord, when whenever the Lord appeared for the second time, is going to judge the death and the living is going to be a judge of the death and the living and his kingdom is said at his appearing and his kingdom and that I'm very interested in this one the, the Lord Jesus Christ is appearing and his kingdom is coming along with him and his kingdom is coming along with him mama uh, Colina you are most welcome hallelujah his, his, uh, his kingdom is that the kingdom of God is coming along with the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord, according to this scripture. And then the Lord just made it clearly in the book of Matthew, chapter 16, verse 28. It says, As shortly I said to you, there, there are some standing here who shall not taste death. So they see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. Coming in his kingdom. So the Son of Man is coming in his kingdom. He is not leaving the kingdom in heaven and come on earth. The coming of the kingdom has nothing to do with the Antichrist and his regime. If pastors are still preaching all the, the, those messages that has nothing to do with this kind of messages, then they are wasting people's time. They are wasting because this is not the season to preach any other message apart from the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ and then the warning regarding the Antichrist regime apart from such messages. I'm telling you the truth. Praise the Lord. Because we are in that season. This is a season for that. So when you, you know you can be a pastor and you are giving good food, good food with the word of God to the children of God at the wrong season. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You may give the right food, but at the wrong season. So as a child of God, you must know the season we are in. As a minister of God, you must know the season and present the right food according to the right season or in the right season for the children of God to eat as you be wasting their time. So the children of God eat according to the season. 
Praise the Lord. We eat according to the seasons. Kama si andereba brokaba. So we are in the season of the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. With the coming of the Antichrist, we proceed. We proceed or we come before. Praise the Lord. The coming of the Antichrist will come before. Because Antichrist must come to do his worst before God will come and then crush him out of the way. And then, hallelujah, praise the Lord, rule the world. And so, this is the time we have, have to give the season messages to the people. Praise the Lord. That is why I've been warning people since about two years ago. I've been warning people about the beast, his image, his mark, and the, and the number of, uh, of his name that has been working all up over the, over the world. Hallelujah. And so, I've been giving these warnings all the time. And sometimes people are not interested in my, in my, my, in my, my, in my messages because uh, it doesn't talk about the things that they, they expect. They want me to say, you, you'll be blessed. They want me to say, quote Psalm 95 for them and tell them they're under the, uh, under the shadow of most high God. They can quote, quote uh, Psalm 91, uh, 21 or 22 for them and then they will be motivating them. That is not the time for motivation. It's time, even if it has a motivation, motivation to prepare yourself to go through the tribulation. That is what we, we need now. Praise the Lord. If there's any motivational uh, uh, there's a message, it must be a, a, a message of encouraging us to get ourselves prepared to go through the tribulation. Because the tribulation is just around the corner. Hallelujah. And I cannot... I cannot stop warning people about the things that are coming. Because you know what? The Bible makes us to understand that. We being pastors, we have been chosen as watchmen. Every pastor is chosen as a watchman. According to the book of Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 22, verse 17, it says, Son of man, I have made you a watchman for the house of Israel. For the house of Israel. Mind you, we are now considered as the people of Israel. We are real spiritual Israelites. Praise the Lord. And according to the scripture, the Israelite is not the Israel according to the flesh. The real Israelite to God is the Israelite in the spirit. Hallelujah. And the Lord Jesus, through the Lord Jesus Christ, the death from the cross, he has made us real Israelites to the Lord. And say we are the pastors. We have made as watchmen. That when something evil is about to happen, we must no, we must blow the alarm. Not only that, when you read the book of uh, Zach, uh, 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 this, uh, Isaiah, Isaiah 56, verse 9, listen to what the Lord says. Hallelujah. He says, Are you beasts of the field come to devour? Are you beasts? In the forest, his watchmen are blind. His watchmen are blind. It is not, it is my prayer that the modern pastors will not fulfill the scriptures. There was an announcement in the realm of the spirit that the watchmen and pastors, so called pastors, men of God, great men of God, are blind. Why? Because there is something serious, dangerous about to happen and they are quiet. They don't talk about it. They don't talk about it. They are quoting scriptures which has nothing to do with the, with the season. They are preaching, giving the message which has nothing to do with the season. And as your pastor, you are doing that. You are not doing your, 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 your listeners good. I'm telling you. Praise the Lord. You are not doing them good. Just look at how the world is arranging things, put things in order so that they will capture human beings in their ignorance. How they are doing things in order to put some, some materials into the human being system so that they can capture them and control them with all kind of deception, scientific deceptions. And they are moving like this, deceiving people, going from one place to another, going from one house to another, 
trying to push something that has never been practiced before, has never been given to human beings before, put it into the system of human beings with, 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 with the idea of controlling human beings and bring them under the under the regime of the Antichrist. And people of men of God are sitting down quietly, never say anything about it. Praise the Lord. Never say anything about it. Hallelujah. I pray that we are not going to fulfill the scriptures. It say in those days, uh, 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 Isaiah was prophesied that the men of God are blind. And so he, the, uh, there was announcement in the realm of the spirit that the beasts should come and devour the people. Which beast is talking about? The beast, the Antichrist, should come and devour the people because the people are blind. Their pastors are not speaking. Their pastors are not warning the people about what is about to happen. Hallelujah. And sometimes when we talk like this, people don't like it. Even Christians don't like it. I once, I once, once pastor listened to my preaching and was replying me with insult. I said, no problem. We don't have problem. Even Jeremiah, all those people, they are not popular. Do you know what? All the, uh, all the ministers that the Lord called them in the olden time that were, were giving warning to people to escape the evil that is coming upon them, they were rather be hated. They don't like that. Jeremiah went into prisons several times. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And that is how we, we have to see things. So the Lord just write to the disciples, don't worry. That's, that is how, the, same thing, the same thing. That That is how they treated the prophet. They treated them that way. All the prophets were killed. All the true prophets were hated. They don't like them. They didn't like them. They want the past prophet who would tell them the sweet ways. You can make it in life. And they will say, Amen. You can do, you will marry and say, Amen. You have the visa. You will buy the land, the mansion. You will buy some. The traveling. You will go. The this and that. They will just tell you things that you do like it. Meanwhile, meanwhile, the, 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 the axe is at, at the root, ready to cut you off. May the Lord have mercy on us. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. So he said, they are blind. Hallelujah. They come and, as I said, the watchmen are blind. They are all uh, ignorant. They are all dumb dogs. They cannot back. So, you know, in the scriptures, Bible makes us know the pastors, prophets, apostles, and all those men of God. They have been chosen as the dogs in the house of God. Who is the rich man? You know, rich man bring dogs in the house so that when the intruder is coming, they will make noise. They will blow the alarm so that everybody will be aware. That's how the Lord has made us as pastors. And we don't do that. We are not ready to do this. Praise the Lord. Whether it's out of fear or whatever, we don't know. But we don't do it. How many pastors of today are preaching against or, or warning people about what is happening? They don't do it. They will not even say about it, talk about it. They themselves have gone for it. And encouraging others to do it. Praise the Lord. They themselves have gone for it and encouraging others to do it. This is a time that you see everything clearly. That what the Lord Jesus Christ said is just happening right in our presence right in our face hallelujah right in our eyes jesus said about the coming of the antichrist according to the book of matthew 24 hallelujah matthew 24 i don't know why people has twisted that scripture to the standard when they read it they don't understand and they misinterpret it to the people that this scripture was was written for the jewish people and not for christians and that one will be, it will, be will be the second coming of the lord jesus christ and they are saying that jesus christ will come for the first one and the second one and the third one before jesus christ will, will now will, will, will settle on earth that's all this delusion and nonsense praise the lord the scripture we read, but it says, when the Lord Jesus Christ appeared, he's coming to, he's coming with his kingdom and then judge the world. Praise the Lord. And judge the world. Hallelujah. He's coming with his kingdom and judge the world. Send the scriptures and you understand that Jesus is not coming for the first time, second one, third one, before <laughs> everything. Is There is always 
first and second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. And they are saying that one, the one rapture, Jesus Christ is coming in secret and no one will see in the twinkle of eyes, then everybody will vanish. That is not true. When the Apostle Paul was talking about a twinkle of eyes, he's not talking about the rapture. He's not talking about it. He's talking about the changing, the, the time we are going to change. That is where we are going to do it in the twinkle of eyes. Not the rapture. Process of the rapture. Hallelujah. We have to understand the scriptures. The twinkle of our eyes that Apostle Paul talk about is about our process of changing our, our body into immortal body. What, what Apostle Paul was talking about was not talking about the process of the rapture. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And so we have to understand the scripture before we twist for the people to, to, to send them into the lake of fire. So that is why. So when you see me warning people every day, telling them that things, dangerous things about to happen. Hallelujah. It's not that I'm interested in telling people negative messages. No. Praise the Lord. I am not interested in that. But I want to let, uh, we are, some of us, we are created to do that as dogs in the house of God to give a warning when there is any intruder when there is any sign of intru in intrusion we have to give it we give a warning to the people that they must be careful but some people are not interested in giving warning to them to be careful hallelujah praise the lord hallelujah may the lord bless you so at this time let me tell you if you are pastor you are listening to me at this time you keep quiet about what is happening and you are not warning the people by quoting scripture that has nothing to do with this season, you are you are disturbing your, your, your people. You are just wasting their time. You must get your people prepared for the time ahead because we are just at the edge of entering into the tribulation. Look at the things that have been put in order. Put in order. Praise the Lord. Can't you see it? Can't you see it? You must know because that's what the bible tells us to do praise the living god hallelujah it's all about the kingdom of god the kingdom of god is coming the lord jesus christ is coming with his kingdom we are going to enjoy it hallelujah but the devil want you to want to take you hallelujah destroy your destiny before that time comes and that is why i'm here to warn you to, that's why I'm, I'm here to alert you that be be be, be alert so that you will not fall victim to the, uh, the to the plan of the devil. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless you for, for listening to me. Let's continue with the book of Matthew, uh, Timothy. And it says, Hallelujah. Convince, rebuke, and exhort with all long suffering and teaching. Hallelujah. This is, the, this is a weird ministry. When you are ministry, you need to convince. Preach according to the season convince the people about things in the season things that are happening in the that this convince them to let understand what is happening so that they can put their life in order convince them rebuke them those who are not ready to to listen rebuke them those who are not ready to uh, not know for six sins and they will still live in their sin rebuke them and say do what exhort also and with all long suffering teach them hallelujah teach them but for verse 3 says, for the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. A time will come. Christians will not be willing to endure sound doctrine. No, sound doctrine is not something we enjoy. Sound doctrine is something we endure. Enduring something means the thing is not going the way you want it. But yet you have to live by it. Praise the Lord. So the sound doctrine always goes against our will. The sound doctrine always doesn't sound good to us. Just like the sound doctrine that the Lord Jesus, uh, the Lord Jesus Christ gave to Adam at the day on, uh, in the garden. That was a sound doctrine about the tree of life, a tree of knowledge and the uh, knowledge of, of evil and good. There was a sound doctrine God gave it to Adam, but it was not sounding good to him. Until the devil came and then told him the good message about the tree. 
the good message about the tree. Praise the Lord. That was, the devil was sounding more positive than God. God was sounding like die, die, die. Hallelujah. God was sounding death, death, death to Eve and Adam. When you eat, you die. And that message was not good to them until the devil came and promised them that they, shall, they will not die. But they would rather become wise when they eat. The devil was sound more positive. Some of we have to be careful. Some of us we want always uh, want to hear the positive messages. I'm telling you, the most of the messages from God are not sounding positive to human understanding. Praise the Lord. Most of the messages from God to us does never sound positive to us. So be careful. Searching for people who say positive things to you. So-called positive things to you. I'm telling you. Not every positive word is positive. I call it demonic positive messages. Hallelujah. So the devil was sounding very good. And very encouraging. Eat it. And when you eat, you, you'll be wise. You become like God. Who doesn't want to be like God? Who doesn't want to be like God? When you eat, you become like God. And you know good and evil. Praise the Lord. And what he said was true. In fact, he made up four, four points about the tree. And three of them were true. God himself confirmed it. That what the devil said is true. Only one lie was what turned a man upside down. That is how the, the devil is coming, with his delusion, with his doctrines. That will sound very good in the ears of people. Someone very positive. We are telling you, these things they are doing is, is mark of the beast. They are leading you into receiving the mark of the beast. And the people will say, that is not the truth. The truth is that it's just a technology. And they sound very good. And you are, you are buying into that message. I can tell you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I can tell you. I'm telling you the truth. Before everything will escalate. Or will come into reality. 2001. The Lord told us clearly. What is about to happen. Hallelujah. Clearly, what is about to happen, and we know what we are talking about. Praise the Lord. May the Lord give us grace. Hallelujah. So they will not listen to the sound doctrine. They will rather prefer to be say sweet things. He said they will not endure it, the sound doctrine. Hallelujah. But according to their own desires, some people they are going to church. Some people they are coming to the inter internet. They are, have their own desires. They want to hear something. Praise the Lord. So when they go and then see somebody who is saying the same thing, they are, then they are locked up. Don't go to God with your own desire. Go to God by emptying yourself. Search for the truth by emptying yourself. Hallelujah. Search for the truth by emptying yourself. And tell the Lord that I want to know the truth. Praise the Lord. Some of us, we are, we are complaining and then accusing pastors not speaking the truth. But you once enter into the church and they are speaking the truth to you, you never stay at that church. Praise the Lord. You never stay at that church. And you went to some other places where they will tell you the lie. And now you are complaining that the pastors are not speaking the truth. It's not them. We ourselves, we are part of Praise the Lord. Our deception. Because we have the deception in ourselves already. Hallelujah. I say, because they have itching years. We pray this morning. Any demon of itching years. That will tell us to turn from. And to, <laughs> this scripture will fulfill mostly in our, our, in our time. That we have the internet. That when you open the internet, you have about thousands of pastors on the on, on internet. That you will listen to them. Some of us will from one place to another listen to all of them. Now, whoever you are listening to, whether he's preaching good or not, the preaching is not the matter. 
the the is the, the preaching is not the teaching is not a matter what matters is the spirit using the person you get a point here what matters is the spirit using the person for the lord jesus christ said the words i'm saying are spirit so every word that is coming from the person's mouth whether the devil speaks the truth sometimes that is why he spoke the truth about the tree and that truth is to change you it's to fill you with unbelief but you be, you think you believe praise the lord that truth is to fill you with fear praise the lord demonic fear but not fear of god demonic fear separates you from fear from god and when god is coming close to you you have to hide from him but the fear of god draw you closer to god do you understand yes so this prophecy will come to pass you it, the fulfillment of this prophecy will be will be will be so full at this time that it is easy to enter into somebody's territory and be following the person it is easy so some of us on the internet we have about thousand pastors teaching us hundred pastors teaching us hundred uh, 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 two hundred men of god teaching us from one point to another one point to another i'm saying this again whoever you are listening to praise the lord the words he's preaching is not the issue the teaching he's giving is not the but the spirit using the person is the issue that is why the Lord did not tell you, the scripture did not tell you that test the words he, he are speaking, test the preaching, test the teaching. He said, test the spirit. That is spirit, because the more you are listening, you are absorbing the spirit that is in the person into you gradually. Praise the Lord. We are going to pray against itching years. Itching years. Itching years. This itching years has deceived many people in the area of dying and resurrected. Many people are what they want to hear. People say, I died and I spent five years in heaven. I'm coming to tell you what things in heaven. So, and then they put aside the scriptures. And they'll be listening. Whatever they are telling them, they are swallowing. Some people are they are just just up, you no know, raise their antenna. They want to hear that I died, and I've gone to hell, and I've come back. And they want to hear things from hell. Praise the Lord. If you are studying your scriptures, you will not need somebody to come from hell to come and tell you something before you believe. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. What did Abraham say? Abraham said, if they don't listen to the pastors, the true pastors, even when somebody comes from hell, they will not believe in him. You know, Abraham is right. Hallelujah. Abraham is right. Let's move on. Praise the Lord. So, they will have 18 years and they will heap up for themselves teachers. They will heap up, how can this scripture comes come to pass without the internet? Some of us we have not had hip up for ourselves teachers. We have more than ten teachers on the on the, on the internet. Some of us haven't you done the same thing? So this scripture will come to pass through this means, and the scripture is right. Today we are heaping up for ourselves more teachers teaching us things. Praise the Lord. You know that this is why some of us, our faith is not stable. Because we go to listen here and say different things. We go and listen to this person, he's also saying different things. We go to this person, so we are not stable, stable even in our faith. Praise the living God. May the Lord help us all. The Lord give us the grace in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. I believe our time is up. Let's enter into prayer. Let's enter into prayer. Let's enter into prayer. Begin to give thanks to the Lord. Begin to bless the name of 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 the Lord. 
In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, pray the Lord my God, my Savior, my Redeemer, we thank you for your word that has come to us. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, pray the Lord my God, my Savior, my Redeemer, in Jesus' name. We are praying against demons of eating years. That the Bible say in the last days we have eating years, and that will move us from one place to another. That will move us to heap pastors to ourselves, and then they will confuse us the more. They will make our faith not be stable because so, some will say this, some will say that, some will say this, and we are confused and we don't know what to do. We are praying that the Lord will deliver us from the demons of eating years. Any spirit that causes our ears to be itching, that may the Lord condemn that spirit and crush that spirit out of our way. In the name of Jesus, may you open your mouth and pray. Father, the Lord, we pray the Lord God of Israel. Father, we pray the Lord, my God, we pray against every demon of eating years, whatever, Lord, my God, the enemy is doing in my life in order to fulfill the scripture father may you condemn it in the name of our lord jesus christ of nazareth pray the lord my god my savior my redeemer my lord in jesus mighty name someone has appeared in ghana says we Ghanaians, we are we are the israelites we are real israelites and he's preaching this gospel this gospel and people are following him now he said, we Ghanaians are the real Israelites. Hallelujah. And the Jewish people over there, they, the reason why they are fair, they, they, are, fair in, they are fair in complexion is because the married uh, uh, outsiders who are the white people, and because of that, they get, got their blood mixed up. And that is why they became fair. And they, they are the one called Jewish. But the real Israelites are blacks, and they are in Ghana. And this man is just more booming in Ghana here, everywhere. Praise the Lord. <laughs> and he's got his scriptures. It's a serious thing. He's got his scriptures. Praise the Lord. He's got his scriptures. And ask a question. That if we are the real Israelites, that you are using the Bible, the Bible, this Bible, this Bible was, was written in Aramaic and then Hebrew language and the Greek. Why is it that no Israelites in Ghana here understand Hebrew language? At least we are all one family. We are the Israelites and we understand that from Abraham, they are all speaking Hebrew language. And now, those who are really from Abraham, offspring of Abraham, they, they are speaking, they speak Hebrew language. But why is it the Ghanaians, none of the Ghanaians have been able to take even the language from our grandfather Abraham? That's the only question I ask. But the people, out of ignorance, they are just following him. Praise the Lord. They are just following him. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, pray the Lord. We are praying that the Lord, this morning by his mercy, may the Lord forgive us every sin we have committed and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, may you open your mouth and pray. Heavenly Father, Lord God of Israel, Pour 
Kabe, Rika Bazok Tabe, Boyabe Bazok Tondiliba, Rika Bozok Tondiliba, Lika Bazok Tabe, Lia Mande Brokabe, Boyabe Bazok Tabe, Lika Bazok Tabe, Lia Mande Brokabe, in the name of Jesus. Father, forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all righteousness. We are proceeding with our prayer. We are asking you, we are asking the Father to certify us with his new mercy and compassion this morning. The scripture says, through the Lord's mercy, we are not consumed because his compassions fail not. They are new every morning. We are obtaining this new mercy every morning, this morning also. In the name of Jesus, may you open your mouth and pray. Father, the Lord, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, certify us this morning with your new mercy and compassion. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we pray the Lord God of Israel. Lisa Brayama, Lisa Brokabe, Boyabe Bazok Tonganaba, Reka Bazuk Tariande, Lisa Brokabe, Boyamande, Rika Zayande, Loksha Brayandeleba, Rika Bozok Tondeleba, Rika Bazok Tabe, Boyabe Bazok Tabe, Lika Mazok Tabe, Reka Bazok Tabe, in the name of our Lord Jesus, let the Lord satisfy us this morning with his new mercy and compassion in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I pray the Lord, Bow Yabe Baba, Laser Bow Rock Tabe, Laser Broke Tabe, Rika Monsok Tondi Babalabe, Rika Monsok Tondi Babalabe, Rika Monsok Tondi Babalabe. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I pray the Lord, my God, my Savior, Reka Bazok Tabe, Boyabe Bazok Tabe, Lika Mandaraba, Reka Bazok Tondi Babalabe, Reka Bazok Tabe, Lazibo Rok Tabe, Boyamande Rok Tabe, Reka Bazok Tabe, Lazibo Rok Tabe, Reka Manzayan Deleba, Lok Shabe Bazok Tabe, Reka Bazok Shandi Babalabe, Reka Manzayan in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, pray the Lord my God, my Savior, my Redeemer, bow your bed, pray and let the Lord God of Israel everlasting Father, Lord in Jesus name, certify us with your new mercy and compassion, let the Lord certify us with your new mercy and compassion, Lord, certify us with your new mercy and compassion, by your new mercy and compassion, deliver us from the powers of darkness deliver us from the powers of darkness by your new mercy and compassion crush every work of the devil done against us oh god done against our ministry lord done against this platform lord my god destroy it lord my god let the lord my god arise up and scatter the wicked in the name of jesus by your new mercy and compassion save your church lord from the powers of darkness save your children lord my god from every satanic manipulation or test manipulation Place him against us, may you condemn it in Jesus' mighty name. We pray. Our God and Savior, Mande broke up, Lacey Bo Rotama, Lika Brayaba, Lacey Bo Rotama, Lacey Bo Rotabe, Boya Mande Rotaliande, Lacey Bo Rotabe, Boya Baba Zotabe, Lika Manza Yande, Lisha Brayaba, Lusha Be Brotaliande, Liki Rotaliande, Lika Brayaba, Boya Baba Zotabe, Lika Brayande, Lusha Brayande Libaba, Lika Bo Zoton de Libaba. Rika Bazok Tape, Boya Pepa Zok Tape, Lika Mande Rok Tape, Rika Bazuk Taliande, Lisa Bo Rok Tape, in Jesus' might and then we pray, our God, our Master, Divine Father, Lord, we pray, the Lord, my God, let the Lord certify us, O God, with His new mercy and compassion, by your new mercy and compassion, let your mercy, let, let your beauty come upon us, O God, by your new mercy and compassion, let your glory appear to us, O God, by your new mercy and compassion, let the Lord my God cause us to rejoice and be glad in Him. By your new mercy and compassion, let the Lord my God establish us in Him. Father, Lord my God, deliver our soul from going to the lake of fire. By your mercy and compassion, let the Lord save our soul from going to the lake of fire. May the Lord deliver our soul from the second death, God. Second death, my Lord, deliver us from the second death, my God, in the name of our Lord Jesus. 
Jesus, by your mercy and compassion. Lord, it's not by anything good we have done. It's not by anything good we have done. But if we depend on your mercy, we trust in your mercy. We hope in your mercy for the salvation of our soul. In the name of our Lord Jesus. Father, Lord, by your mercy, Lord, do anything possible to receive us, O God, to deliver our soul from going to a lake of fire. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Our God and Savior, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, pray. Rekaba zoktape, lisi brande brokape, bayape broton galabape, rekama zuktaliande, lukshape pazayande deba. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Hallelujah. Glory be to the Lord. Blessed be unto the name of the Lord. Koma siyande brokapa lishabo roktani deba. In the name of our Lord Jesus. By a message of the Lord, we are praying that the Lord will deliver us from delusion. We deliver us from delusion. For the enemy's Bible says the enemy is coming with strong delusion. Is coming with strong delusion. Lord, my pray that the Lord will deliver us from the delusions of the devil by his mercy and compassion. Open your mouth and pray. Father, deliver us from the de uh, delusion. Lord, my God, delusion of the devil and the deception spirit assigned against us, oh God. Father, may you condemn that spirit. May you bind that spirit. We cast that spirit into abyss. Now, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, pray the Lord, my God, my Father. Paul, Yape, Bazuk, Tape, Lisa, Bro. Let the Lord my God, any demon of delusion, any demon of de deception, may the Lord deliver us from it. Answer in Jesus' mighty name. We are praying that the Lord will avenge us. The Lord God of Israel will avenge us. May the Lord avenge us on the wicked one. May the Lord avenge us on witches. May the Lord avenge us on prosperities. May the Lord avenge us on powers. May the Lord avenge us on rulers. May the Lord avenge us on weak, uh, uh, on the spiritual host of wickedness. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. May you open your mouth and pray. Father Lord, may you avenge us. In the name of our Lord Jesus. Avenge us, O oh Lord. Any accusation of the devil against our lives, O oh God. Father, deliver us from the evil one. In the name of our Lord Jesus, deliver us from the accusation of the devil. In the name of our Lord Jesus, Christ of Nazareth, I pray the Lord my God, my Savior, my Redeemer. Bo yabe, bo yama, de rok tabe, le sabra, yok tama, le sabo, rok ton de laba, raikaba, zuk tariande, lok sebra, yapo sok tabe, raikaba, zuk tabe, bo yaba, ba zuk tabe. In the name of our Lord Jesus, Christ of Nazareth, I pray the Lord my God, my Savior, my Redeemer, my Lord, avenge me, avenge my family, avenge the church, every one of us, oh God, Father, the Lord, avenge us on the wicked one, let the accusation against us be aborted, be crushed up, oh God, and be clear up, oh God, in the name of Jesus, and save our lives from their manipulations, oh God. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray, our God and Savior, Lord, deliver us from their hands, oh God, in the name of of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth the prayer mandate about broke up there lazy ball right on the list of rock to bear oh yeah Monday right couple lazy block time did you have a little bit like a boss of Italian dead look about buzz of tape let the Lord avenge in Jesus name we are praying the Lord will give us the strength the grace sufficient grace to stand to the end and will prevail over the uh, over the beast his image his mark and the number of his name may you open up and pray father we pray for divine strength we pray for sufficient strength. We pray for sufficient grace to stand to the end. In the name of our Lord Jesus, give us the strength to prevail over the over the over, over the beast, over his image, over his mark, over the number of his name. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, pray the strength, sufficient strength to God, empowerment, divine empowerment, give unto us, O God. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we pray. Let the power of God rest upon us, O God. Father, empower us to prevail over the works of the devil in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, give us the grace to endure. We are praying for endurance. That may the Lord give the grace to us as to endure to the end.
end of God. Endure patiently to the end of God. In the name of our Lord Jesus. In the name of our Lord Jesus. Christ of Nazareth, we pray the Lord, our God and Savior, our Redeemer, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Hallelujah. We are praying once again. We are asking the Lord that the Lord will make it impossible for us to lose his kingdom. Hallelujah. This prayer, we are praying with all our heart. We are asking the Lord, Lord, make it impossible for us to lose your kingdom. May you open your mouth and pray. Father, we plead with thee, merciful Father, make it impossible for us to lose your kingdom. For the Bible says we should ask you anything. You will do it. We are asking you, Lord my God, the kingdom, my God, and make it impossible for us to lose the kingdom. For we cannot afford to lose it in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I pray the Lord, my God, my Savior, my Redeemer, my Lord God of Israel, right? Kappa, Papa, Lisi, make it impossible for everyone in my ministry, Lord, my God, my Father, Lord, under my ministry to lose the kingdom in Jesus' mighty name. My prayer, Lord, help us to make it to heaven with multitudes of souls to God in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We pray our God. God and Savior in Jesus' name. We are also praying, asking the Lord that the Lord God of Israel will protect the elect all over the world. All the over, over, over the world. We are praying for the elect. Every elect under the attack of the devil. May the Lord save that elect in Jesus' mighty name. May you open your mouth and pray. We pray for protection for every elect or on, under the sun in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we pray thee. Let the Lord protect all of us. Let the Lord save all of us. Let the Lord deliver us. Oh God, deliver the Father, your elect from every power of darkness. Set in motion against them in the name of Jesus. We pray for all your elect in Jesus' mighty name. Save your elect to God in the name of Jesus. Protect them, O God. Reserve your elect to God for yourself, O God. Permit no witch, permit no wizard, permit no demon, permit no spirit, my God, Father, Lord, to turn the destiny of your elect in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We pray. We also pray for all men to come to the knowledge of the truth that they might be saved. We are praying that all men will come to the knowledge of the truth that they may be saved. May you open your mouth and pray. Father, we pray for all men to come to the knowledge of the truth anything blinding them father lord with the father lord take away the blindness from their mind from their soul from their spirit from their eyes their spiritual eyes of god and let them know the truth let them come to the truth in the name of jesus that they may be saved lord my god let all men come to the knowledge of the truth come to the knowledge of the truth that they may be saved oh god in jesus mighty name we pray hallelujah we give glory and honor unto the Lord. We bless the name of the Lord. We worship the name of the Lord. We magnify the name of the Lord. The Lord is so wonderful. Begin to give thanks to the Lord. Begin to bless the name of the Lord. Begin to magnify the name of the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. Father, we magnify your name. Father, we worship your majesty. You deserve praises. You deserve honor. You deserve worship. You deserve adoration. In the name of our Lord, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We give thanks to you. We give thanks to you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I pray the Lord my God in Jesus mighty name. Thank you Lord. Blessed be unto your holy name. How wonderful you are. How wonderful you are. In the name of our Lord Jesus. We give glory and honor unto your holy name. In Jesus name we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. God richly, richly bless every one of you in Jesus' mighty name. I decree into your life, may the Lord God of Israel protect you and deliver you from the evil one in Jesus' mighty name. May the Lord give you the grace to endure to the end in Jesus' mighty name. Any blessing that the Lord has determined to bring into your life, may nothing divert it. May that blessing locate you in the name of our Lord Jesus whatever blessing that you deserve may the lord con may the lord connect you to that blessing in jesus mighty name whatever good thing from above that the lord has determined to bring into your life may nothing by any enemies block that blessing in jesus mighty name may the lord bless you and make you a blessing unto many in jesus mighty name i pray for you amen god richard bless you
in Jesus' mighty name. May we share the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. God richly, richly bless you. You can share this, this to also know, uh, to help somebody. Somebody might need this message. And as you keep sharing, you may, you may save somebody's life. God richly bless you. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Bye-bye.